Hi, I'm Matt Harris from Butterscotch.com. I'm a huge horror movie fan and a pretty avid gamer, so in the late 80s when Namco released Splatterhouse, I was instantly hooked. Over 20 years later, I get to relive all the blood and gore on my iPhone with the Splatterhouse app. The object of the game is simple. You control Rick, a machete-wielding, hockey mask-wearing thug who's on a mission to rescue his girlfriend Jennifer. Standing in his way are all sorts of zombies, traps, and unholy creatures that are just asking to be splattered against the walls. There are two different ways to play the game. Splatter Rush mode, where you see how many evil creatures you can destroy within a given time limit, and Arcade mode, where you play through the game's story. In the story, you start off empty-handed and must punch and kick your zombie enemies using the on-screen buttons. Maneuver Rick left and right using the joystick, and if you see a weapon, bend down and pick it up to cause even more destruction. To be honest, the controls did take a bit to get used to, but you can customize your gameplay by zooming in and out, and thus adjusting your screen real estate. Each level has a main big boss you must fight in order to move on with your quest, and if you manage to beat the game, you can start all over by raising the level of difficulty. Splatterhouse is certainly a game that lives up to its name, and you can download it at mobile.butterscotch.com, and for full show notes on the app, head over to butterscotch.com. Thank <laughs> you.